I love the smell of rich white guys in the morning. Welcome back to my channel, and if you've never been here before, haven't you though? I don't know, you seem familiar. I'm Fat Say Jack, and I'll be your host today, with or without your permission. Now, we know why we're here today. It's another installment of rich white guys talking about their problems, or do they? Maybe they'll save it for the next one, probably, because we've got another one of these to go. And, um... So today we're going to be watching the second installment of the three-part new Shane Dawson series entitled The Something Something of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and Cancelled and <laughs> White Man Tears. But before we get started, uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, do all those things your mama taught you to do. Please and thank you, never hurt anyone either, I'm just saying. Anyway, let's let's uh, get into it. Today's episode is called The New World of Jeffree Star, uh, except of course when it was first uploaded and it was called The Retirement of Jeffree Star, uh, which leads me to believe that we're not going to learn anything about Jeffree Star or retiring, really. Um, and everything about whatever yaktastic bullshit is going on over at the Yak Ranch. And also, Shane edits these videos for months. Like, this, these videos take way longer to edit than they should. Uh, pick a name and stick with it. Because if you're not picking a name and sticking with it, then that tells me that you have no idea where your own narrative is going. So, anyway... <laughs> Just pick a title and stick with it, weirdo. Okay, so let's watch the video. I just kind of want to point out real quick that the new world of Jeffree Star, aka the retirement of Jeffree Star, um, only has 818,000 views and it's been up for 17 hours as of the time of filming this. Um, now, I'm sure in Shane's like YouTube dashboard, it, it's probably at a million by now. But like... I think that says something about how riveting this series is. Buffy makes award-winning betting that's soft on you and on you. Oh joy! Buffy again! <laughs> A low energy, low effort, ugly jacket, ad integration. <laughs> Yay! Obviously we're gonna skip this because... <laughs> We don't need to put more eyes on this. Buffy, making your choices out here. That was then. This is now. Okay. I told Jeffrey I wanted to film my actual reaction pulling up to his house because... Oh, joy! Jumping around in time again! Yay! I love feeling disoriented when I watch a YouTube video. I've seen one picture, but... I'm really scared. I don't know what to expect. It's from what I've heard, it's a castle. I've been watching the spoiler. Because <laughs> of course. I, and I think I saw it from the road, and it's crazy. Oh. Oh. My God. My God. Are we in Vegas? What is this? Uh, Jeffrey, I think your house is too big. <laughs> <laughs> I actually laughed at that the first time. I was tired. Give me a break. We did this already. Why are we doing it again? What's wrong? So Jeffrey just FaceTimed me. And remember in the closet a few hours ago when I told you that I was nervous? I didn't know why, but with Jeffrey, there's no way something's not gonna happen. Can you even believe that my answer is still no? This is literally the second time you've shown us this particular clip. And I still have absolutely no idea what's going on. So. Nada. Um, cool video though. I just knew, I felt, I could feel the energy of like, a bomb is gonna drop. Like, I can feel it, it's happening. I don't know when, I don't know what, but something's gonna happen. I don't know. And then he FaceTimed me. And first of all, Maddie was there, which I'm so excited. She's Jeffrey's assistant. And I think she quit in 2020. I don't know why exactly, but she's back. 
so we're gonna see her which is really exciting i think she's picking us up from the airport which like i'm really excited but yeah i'm also really excited um this seems fun and spontaneous most importantly <laughs> on the facetime he was like just letting you know and then he said something that was something he wants to talk about tomorrow which is so insignificant boring stupid anticlimactic all of the above what something i i don't know how i feel about it's like gonna be a thing for sure that people are gonna be like what but also, I kind of disagree with him, and I don't think it's a good idea. Whoa! It sounds like there is some heavy conflict coming our way. Somewhere else. Not in this video, but like, probably somewhere else. But I love him, so I'm trying to be supportive. So there's that. But then on top of that, it's like kind of a big thing that I'm like, once again, not planned. Like literally, none of this has been planned so far. And I feel like it's gonna seem very fake. Like this was all planned for this purpose and it's not. You know, the more you tell me how unplanned all of this was, the less I believe you. <laughs> unplanned, yeah. Yeah, about as unplanned as your surrogate's pregnancy. But I don't fully know how he's gonna wanna do this or if I'm gonna have to pretend like I don't know what's happening, but. Is it a bad thing? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Wow, less than four minutes in and already a mid-roll. And thank God, because it was a nice jolt awake after I fell asleep with my eyes open. Oh. I mean, kind of, no, he says no, but when he told me I could feel a sense of sadness, kind of, but maybe I'm projecting. Projecting? Impossible. You're just an empath, Shane. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that? I don't know, there was, it's basically a huge life change that he's gonna do that is gonna piss off a lot of people, but also like made me feel really nervous. I'm really nervous. This is now turned into like, it went from like, oh, let's go see the yaks and like, look at the palette that we were like, not gonna sell. And now it's literally like a very big deal. Forgetting to pay your income taxes is a very big deal. Having a heart attack is a very big deal. When the aunt that makes the best taco dip shows up at the family event, that's a very big deal. I can guarantee that nothing Shane Dawson is about to show us for the next 50-ish minutes um, is in any way a big deal. Also, I wish Chris would stop doing the erratic zooms. That was, that's, that's Andrew's thing and you're bad at it. And he's trusting me to be a part of this moment and wait, 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 Shane, shut the fuck up for a second. I have to do something. There. Perfect. Now, Nathan Lane, nor my hero and the late great Robin Williams deserve to be in this video. Like, they are so far above this, but I just, I couldn't unsee it, so. You're welcome. I was, am not ready for this. <laughs> I, I was just like trying to make a stupid video. <laughs> this is a lot, this is a lot. This is a lot, says the man whose videos have stakes lower than a smashed dried out worm on the sidewalk. Although, you know what? On a less scary side, he did say that tomorrow night they're launching his uh, Star Yak Burger at a steakhouse in Casper, so. Can we go eat that? What? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. I don't know. What am I doing? Um, I still don't know, Shane, because you're a terrible storyteller. <laughs> this whole series could have been an email. Oh my god. He lit when he told me on the FaceTime, and I'm sorry to be so mysterious. I just don't I want him to say it. When he told me, I was like, huh? Huh? And then he just was like, Yep. Boom. Oh my God, no way. I had no idea he was like, yep, boom. <laughs> well, that changes almost absolutely nothing at all. And then my stomach went, boom. Root beer, anyone? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Well, here's what I will say. It's gonna be very 
full circle. Full circle? Well, fetch the pink hair dye, grab the taser, and somebody contact Tom from MySpace. <laughs> Well, if you're keeping score at home, I too have no idea what day or time uh, or or year or month or um, plane of consciousness I'm on. Thank you for the linear storytelling, Shane. It sent me into an existential crisis. Can't leave. <laughs> you have not moved. I've been twenty. Oh hours. my gosh. You're right. I've been holding this house on my shoulders all day long. Well, I've been holding this body on my shoulders and I'm tired. What? How do you think we're gonna leave? Look at what we have going on. I have four children. Jeffrey has 700 dogs. Did you think he has a full-time dog keeper? No, the dog keeper quit and Jeffrey got really emotional about it in a video. The degree to which Shane Dawson um, metaphorically sucks Jeffrey Star's dick um, is so unbelievably pathetic. And even more so that like Rylan doesn't mind because they all worship Jeffrey. It's kind of weird. <laughs> hey guys, I know. Oh God. <laughs> I'm just letting out some feelings right now on camera. Right, cause why have a private moment? I mean also kudos to Shane for this insert here. Um, <clears throat> really tugging at the heartstrings. Not mine, but surely somebody gives a fuck. I'm alone in my house. Security's outside. <laughs> oh my god, that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> it's so relatable. No, it's sad, it's sad. Rest in peace. I don't think he does. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I, it's been a long time. I haven't seen Jeffrey in forever. I don't know the updates. Last night, I was like, are you sure he wants to come? It's like a lot, you know, I'm a lot of energy right now. And probably 20 more pounds than you're used to. And he was like... <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, Shane, I ride yaks. Like, I get it. And I was like, okay, thank God. He's like, what could you ride up? <laughs> I think that's the first time Rylan's ever made me laugh. Oh my God, I love new experiences. Okay, so what's the vibe? What do you mean? Like, are we dressing to impress? Auntie Ryland, can you stop trying to make what's the vibe happen? Um, you're in you're your thirties. So are we? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not talking for us. Jeffrey, I'm talking for like the airport, for Casper. This is cheesy, but well, these are the first uh, shoes that he bought me. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> Wait a minute, these are iconic. These are literally like what I'm wearing. These are like the glown up version of my shape ups. And I, no joke, have been wearing them every single day since. Shane saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip flops, so Shane bought army pants and flip flops. Why am I nervous? I think it's, I'm nervous because this might be opening up a can of worms because whenever we get together, drama happens. And he's been drama free for two years. So now like, what if we get together and ooh ooh. Well, does the drama happen if you don't see it? I've blocked everything. There's nothing for me to see. <laughs> Right. <laughs> new series, new year, new me. White jacket, don't pan down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm confident this year, guys. That's my thing. Okay, I wanted to be bold because we were going to see Jeffrey, but can I do this? It's a little gay, but I feel like what would Jeffrey do? Um, not that. I'm second guessing everything. I thought we were dressing to impress. I am, a white jacket, new me. You sure. look great, you do look great. You know, the nice thing is when you reach a point with your partner where you can just openly lie to them. I should change. No, I think you look great. Don't change, but we do need to hurry up. The Uber's here. Um, are you ready? Are you nervous? Uh, I'm more nervous now. <laughs> okay, good, you should be. Um, no, I'm kidding. It's gonna be fine. Although I did have nightmares last night, but this did not go well. <gasps> oh, there's the trusty pointless stock footage. Show me a nightmare or I'm out. I have no idea what you're talking about. I also had a nightmare that I like offended Christy Carlson or Mon when she came for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Hey, so I'm so excited to see you. I'm also really nervous because I can't believe we're actually going to show our baby. To feel so excited about something and then to have such disappointment has been a lot. So um, I'm ready to dive in. I'm nervous. I'm scared. <laughs> You guys ready? <laughs> Settle down, Dad. We're not gonna be at Disney for another seven hours. Oh, Chris. 
<laughs> I like traveling. I don't know if you know this about me. Oh, I like traveling, just not with, you know, Elton John. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Okay, thank you. There's my one for Shane. I was just about to mention that these glasses were making me like irrationally angry. He looks like Ron Rifkin in Alias. He looks like he didn't get a call back for Rocket Man. He looks like Stanley Tucci's gay nephew who's just like trying to steal his look. I hate the glasses, I guess is my point. You guys encouraged it. What are you talking about? We're going to see Jeffrey. I have to make a little bit of a statement. Um, could the statement Maybe be I have taste, because that would be um, probably a, be a better one. But creating this with you felt so magical. It felt so right. And I think the world deserves to see it. Right. And all of those tears you cry for me. <laughs> Chris, get a shot of us reading these magazines that no one would ever be expecting us to read. I'm gonna read Fit Over 50. <laughs> it's gonna be totally natural and a really funny joke. <laughs> Did you notice something today about me that's different? Did I do? No. Good. Keep going. Um, um, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate this game. I'm scared. No, look at my crush. Look. Did you sew it? No! Oh, the hole! Thank you for letting me relive that actual nightmare. I didn't think it was um, possible to get PTSD from a YouTube video, but it happened um, just now. No, I got new pants. You went shopping? Listen, I'm preparing. This is a new me. New pants, new jacket, new life. All inspired by Jeffree Star and not at all by his fiance or their forthcoming spawn. Same shirt. Okay. <laughs> I love the new you. Um, I'm just glad that you're finally coming here. I can't wait to talk about everything. And I'm so ready to just rip the band-aid off. I too am ready to rip the band-aid off and lose it in a public pool. And then when some little kid finds it and starts screaming, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> You know, Denver Airport is historically known for being wildly haunted. I just thought that that might be an interesting video we could do instead of whatever the hell it is we're doing here. I'm really nervous. About the flight or Jeffrey? I'm just, I don't know. Some weird, sad feeling. Well, that's the feeling I get when I watch these videos. <sighs> Twinsies. Because <laughs> it's like exciting to see him, but then it's like, well. Mm. I mean, maybe he's happy. I mean, he says he's happier than he's ever been. But Billie Eilish said that, and she was like <laughs> screaming and crying in that song, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're here. Oh my god, we're here. Oh my god. Okay, um, first of all, keep Billie's good name out of your mouth. Second of all, you're literally pulling up to a terminal at a major airport. Why are we feigning this audible surprise at our location that we asked to be taken to? Okay, I'll see you soon. But just know that this feels so right because it's with you. The f The f What kind of rom-com ass bullshit is that? It feels right because it's with you. Get a room. Did you remember the palette? It is the point of the trip. My big concern at the moment is the palette. When I used to have to protect the conspiracy palette before it came out, like that was a big deal, and Jeffrey was just like, I'm not fucking lose it. And I was just like, I promise I won't. Oh. It's literally eyeshadow. This isn't the Costa Nostra. So this though is even scarier because this is like an unreleased palette, which legally I think could be even worse. Are you checking it in or are you bringing it on the plane? No, I'm taking it with me wherever I go. <laughs> I would sew it to my body if I could. <laughs> I'm not afraid of Jeffrey. We've moved past that. Was I afraid of him the first 70 times I hung out with him? Of course. <laughs> Did I think maybe if I made one wrong move, he would get his mafia friends to throw me in a drunk and throw me off of a bridge? Maybe. But because of my cancellation, his makeup ended up at TJ Maxx and we're still friends, so... First of all, it was also his cancellation. Um, not to... <laughs> not to belabor the point here, um, but, uh... <clears throat> he's also a multi-millionaire, so one flopping palette after, like, an initial bajillion dollars in sales. Um, 
I'm pretty sure that's no skin off Jeffrey's nuts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, what else could I do? You know what I mean? Yes. Although I did totally forget about the palette and that whole thing because of everything. So. Have you said anything? No, I'm gonna let Jeffrey talk about oh it. Oh my gosh. Also, we just ran into a girl and she had the palette with her. Isn't that crazy? Two years later, like... Maybe it's a sign. Uh, you know? It's a sign. Should I give her the cancel palette? <laughs> if, seriously, if that's not the name of the palette, I'm gonna... I'm... I'm... Well, I'm not gonna do anything because I don't really care, but just, just do it. I got emotion. So, I'm regretting my white jacket choice because uh, it definitely doesn't hide my sweat. Gross. <laughs> I guess it also won't hide my vomit, will it? Whoa. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna be hopeless forever and I was gonna trek along and do me, but I don't know, things just feel really right. <laughs> You remember that plane ride when Shane took a bunch of Xanax and like Morgan and, and uh, Garrett were being super chaotic um, and it was really funny to like just watch the chaos unfold. <sighs> yeah, well, this is not that. This is my travel outfit. I can't be seen in Wyoming like this. You know there's a custom change. Oh, of course. How willst Ryland fetch yonder attention? If not for yonder costume exchange. What is this? What am I doing? This is where, like, I, a lot of people talk about Ryland and how, like, desperate he is for attention. Just, like, we'll ride the coattails of anybody. And anytime Jeffree Star is involved, that is where it truly shines. Because Ryland will try to be the bougiest version of himself. And it always reads desperation. Just thought I'd point that out. Quick outfit change. How did you change so fast? Christ almighty. It's the tiniest airport I've ever been to. And in the bathroom, it literally was like, don't spit your tobacco in the urinal. And I was like, is this so Jeffrey? Speaking of Jeffrey. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god he's mad at you. Wow. <laughs> he sure fits in, doesn't he? <laughs> oh my god. Hi, y'all. Wow, that hey y'all really felt natural. <laughs> it's like he's been saying it his whole past two years. Oh, welcome to Wyoming. Hey. <laughs> Wait, not much change. Maddie, hair is red, and I'm now a farmer, but. Other than that? Same hose. <laughs> I'm alive. And I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure um, that Ryland's outfit is technically considered a hate crime. <laughs> I don't know against who, probably just clothes in general, but woo! He got gayer, so. Listen, so we don't really have a gay culture in Wyoming. <laughs> uh, we don't have gay clubs. Um, as long as you don't use they and them, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, fellas? <laughs> oh my god, wait. Oh, I just need to look at you. <laughs> There's so much happening. There is? Where? I'd love to see it. All I see happening here is the confusion uh, on the faces of Wyoming's finest Trump supporters, pro probably. <clears throat> We'll be getting into a wig later, so my hair is <laughs> my, my hair is gelled back, and I'm filming some TikToks with the yaks. And they prefer when I'm in more my feminine state. Oh, so right. <laughs> this is crazy. It's literally not. Nothing has happened. Nothing. They got to the airport. This is our little airport. Do you have your bags yet? No, not yet. Wait, I think it's actually right oh, there. Oh, you're gonna help? Yeah. <laughs> Where? <is it? laughs> Oh, this is a big old thing. It's so Chris. Yes. I know you don't uh, know me and Maddie that well, but uh, Shane and Ryland really hold a special place in our hearts, so 
when we knew they were coming, I said, oh God, what are we gonna pick up Shane and I don't want him to like be embarrassed, you know? <laughs> like a, a, a Prius, a Ram truck. <laughs> and I was like, no, we, we can't do that. So we actually just bought the all brand new electric Hummer. <gasps> I love the masturbatory flaunting of one's riches. It really ups the relatability factor. Definitely doesn't make me wish I was watching literally anything else. <laughs> like a car crash in slow motion or my parents having some- There's only 1500 in America and this one <laughs> somehow got one. <laughs> I like that Jeffree Star doesn't even finish a sentence and they're all like laughing and like jerking him off. You may have seen me and Shane and Ryland uh, in our last series giving off a lot of emissions on the planet with all those private jets. <laughs> We've gone green now. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. I guess even Hummer has higher standards than Buffy, huh? <laughs> That's saying something. Oh my god. <laughs> America. <laughs> so pretty. Oh. All right. Wow. I'm like excited. I'm nervous. Wait, so where are we going? Should we like, should you show us the city? Should we go to your ranch? Should I we think go to that the we hotel? should go to the Star Yak Ranch first. Okay. Let's say hi, let's have a cold Red Bull and a glass of ketamine and just <laughs> catch up. Yeah, we can go in off-terrain mode and go see some yaks if we want to do that. Just, dude, look at the yaks, ride the yaks, eat the yaks. All of it. Okay, well first we need to schedule a stop so Auntie Ryland can get his I Heart Wyoming t-shirt at the local souvenir shop, okay? Auntie Ryland needs to complete his ensemble. <laughs> <laughs> All of it, yeah. Mm. A real farmer utilizes every part of the animal, for yes. real. So we do that. Um, we'll get into all of that, but we have 150 for breeding and pets. And then we have a whole meat pasture we're raising for food. We've been feeding our community. We're in five restaurants now. So more for me to kick me out of their stores, but Wyoming is welcoming me with uh, <laughs> wide open arms. <laughs> <laughs> Our jerky has been a massive head. That blood sugar was selling well, <laughs> bitch. Oh my god. Why is any of this funny? I don't get it. It's, I'm not, I don't get it. Girl, that fucking pepper jerky. Oh my <laughs> lord, girl. I had no idea. And people are really into their jerky, bitch. Oh my oh god. god. Yeah. Now, for filming purposes, but real quick off camera. Um, I do have to film some transitions and some TikTok. Hey y'all. I'm so glad we left that little blip in before um, Chris cut the camera because we wouldn't want to edit that out. Because <laughs> we wanted, um, that's, it was a very, uh, that was um, probably very crucial to the um, storytelling that we're um, probably going to get to at some point in this um, series of um, videos. I'm so happy. I can't believe it. Well, I can't like, believe you're on TikTok. I mean, I can't even open that app. I'm so scared. Yeah. I feel like every time I open it, it's somebody, like, one of those videos where it's, like, me from far away and there's, like, a, a robot lady, like, I, I saw Shane, Shane at the mall. mall. And he, he was, was, you know, I know. Better in person. First of all, that's a grocery store. I didn't want to be a part of that next wave, and now I'm like, well, I'm getting more inspired to have fun with makeup again because. Are you, wait, so, okay, we'll get into everything later. Yeah, we'll get on the road. So have you ever been to Wyoming, Chris? No, never. <laughs> so this is the ninth biggest state in all of America, but we are the least populated with only 560,000 residents. <laughs> You're always safe. Um, Chris, if you ever feel like you are unsafe, don't worry, I got you. Oh my, oh my God! <laughs> Well, if Jeffrey Lynn ain't a rootin', tootin', walkin', talkin', dick measuring contest all in himself. Yeah, and we can we can give you guys a shooting lesson later. Mm -hmm. We can, and in this state, it's allowed us to be out. <laughs> We're in LA. Me and Shane may go to prison for this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, pal. Oh, touched it up. Oh, okay. So am I not allowed? Oh, no, yeah. Of course you are. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, you just don't okay. grab it with your finger on the trigger. We don't want to no, shoot no. the new Hummer. No, no. Come on, shoot the new Hummer. No, no, no. So whenever you grab a gun, it's either like this or with the finger always over the trigger. <gasps> okay. Yeah. And never towards anyone. I... Oh. <laughs> 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 Look, then you go like this. Let me see this finger. There's Wait, no, don't. No, no, over the over. trigger. There, okay. so it's safe and don't pull. Oh, there it is. Oh. Yay! Oh. <laughs> He's a Colorado girl! <laughs> feel really safe. It's very normal. Wow. Yeah, isn't that cool? Maybe you should take it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll just put it under here for now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, all right, let's get to the journey. <laughs> Sorry, I need a few calories. It's hot out. Cheese it's too. We get it, Jeffrey. You're wealthy. <laughs> I love when we like her. Listen, you guys, after being canceled ten times, I just want to peace and quiet. <laughs> peace and quiet so you can be the loudest, most garish person in Wyoming. <laughs> Makes sense, I guess. Oh, I can't wait to show you more. All right, we're off. Wyoming. What made you pick Wyoming? Apparently there's no one here. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear me, we're doing no emissions. This car is silent. He literally can't hear me. That was so nice that you saw it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? We're filming our video. manslaughter, you know? What are people like? like what's the reaction to you and me? This, here? Uh, this is just a real hard working town of cool people that just appreciate what they have. Um, it's just been, I don't know, it's magical. I never would have thought I would be here <laughs> at all. Shane, quick director's note. I'm not the director, but I'm gonna step in for just a hot second. Um, quit picking your f***ing beard, okay? Um, it's gross, and I'm pretty sure I just heard 818,000 people dry heaving. But it's been amazing. But you've been wanting this for a long time. Like, I remember even before we got canceled, I remember. <laughs> Please see, before cancellation, I remember you said you were... You know, there's really nothing like making your cancellation a joke to prove that you really don't give a single fuck about the people, most of which in, are in marginalized groups, or literal children that were affected by your actions. <laughs> that is so cool and edgy. <laughs> I, like that. I, had a, I had a vision. I okay, want to be me. with a bunch of yachts. I want to be in, on a ranch in like Wyoming. This I've moved really quickly of like shedding things. Like I don't want 5,000 purses anymore and didn't want to be surrounded by all this materialistic shit. And yeah, I still enjoy nice things. And it's been really, really great, important, and awesome. You just sold your uh, mansion. Oh my god, after a year. Oh my god, 11 bedrooms, what the hell. I was going through a crazy breakup. I mean, literally, we did, the, I, we did like the house tour together. Jeffrey takes fellow YouTuber and makeup mogul Shane Dawson on a tour of his mansion, and it's everything you've ever dreamed of. And I just felt like because content was at such a height for YouTube, was at such a moment, I was like, well, I'm gonna keep it going and just do the craziest most as usual. Imagine buying a mansion for views. Because that's essentially what he's saying, is he was like upping the stakes of what he was buying and the cost of what he was buying. If y'all see me buying anything pricier than like a friggin' Snickers bar, do me a solid and just like smack the reality right back into my skull, okay? So I found the biggest, baddest house on the block. Oh my god, he's here! Look! Shane's reaction when he first pulls up to the Victorian style house says it all. Oh my god! Says what all? That Shane over exaggerates when he sees things that are not a diet root beer or the shirt he's been wearing for six months. <laughs> you know, and it was, it was really cool. I'm grateful for all those moments there, but it's just not me anymore. Jeffrey, I think your house is too big. <laughs> Sometimes they're shocked, like, wait, what do you mean he doesn't have like 5,000 Birkins in Wyoming? And I'm like, I don't want that stuff anymore. And the good news is, is that like I told everyone, it holds its value, if not triple. I just made so much money off of selling so many purses. Wait. Nothing says I don't care about that stuff anymore. Quite like, telling us about how you pocketed a shit ton of money from selling Birkins. I can relate, see, I'm absolutely buried in credit card debt. I also think it's interesting, I haven't quite fleshed out the point I'm about to make, but I also think it's interesting that Jeffrey's sort of talking about his evolution as a person, and you know, I don't want any of like that other material shit anymore, I just want this material shit. I wanted a change, I had an ego death, and all of this stuff. And the reality is that what Jeffree Star has is money. And money gives you the ability to uproot your life, put your mansion on the market for a year, move to Wyoming and buy another million dollar home and a fuck ton of land and a bunch of yaks and assimilate into a culture just because you can. Yak farming is 
is its own culture. Farming is its own culture. And I, I don't know. I think there's just some, there's a point in there somewhere to be made about the privilege of being able to just uproot your entire existence on a whim and move expensively and just change everything. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I don't, where was I going with this? I don't even know. Where, where's uh, the, did you sell all the purses? Uh, I would say about 90%. Okay, wait, can I guess? Yeah. How many did you have? Oh God, I don't even know, Maddie, how do we answer that? I mean, well, it depends. Are we talking just Birkins or are we talking all bags? <laughs> So grounded. Oh my god. <laughs> the real question though. Uh, a lot of it I just wasn't enjoying anymore and I didn't care and I'm like, wow, this fucking little diamond bag I bought five years ago is now worth three hundred thousand dollars. It's so it's insane. That's a fucking nice house in this town. Yeah, that is insane. Three hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. For sure. Uh, especially to Shane, who is apparently trying to catch every fly in Wyoming using only his agape, unbrushed mouth. You know, so, yeah. Oh, what hi. is this? This is a Dior bag, they only made three of these. Me, Beyonce, and Rihanna have it. Hi. I sold a lot of my clothes. This is a lot of shit. It's like overwhelming. Like I almost feel like it was another lifetime ago. Like, what, I would never do this now. <laughs> Wait, how much did you make off the Birkins? I can't even guess. Uh, oh, that's for one. Millions. Millions. I don't know if I'm irritated because I'm jealous, um, because I will never ever have that much money, or if I'm pissed because so much of our country alone is just steeped in abject poverty that they will never escape from, or if I'm pissed because Shane is still feigning surprise at how wealthy Jeffree Star is. It's probably the last one, and probably the first one, and also the second one. It's probably... Yeah, it's, um, can I have some money? So at this time, and Shane, we're at the other side of it, at the base. Uh, see you in my bed later. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so are you officially, like, done with us? Oh, yeah, we're done. I've been a resident here for almost, for about two years now. That's been two years? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Time flies when you're farming. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, no one talks like that here. I'm doing a, a stupid Texas uh, twang. Really? <laughs> I learned something new today. Uh, Wyoming is not, in fact, in the South. <laughs> God, I was so convinced. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, listen. So, for later, and this is something that Wyoming is really known for, minus we can find dinosaur bones literally anywhere you walk around here. Wyoming in America has the most craziest ghost activity. And the haunted energy in this state is fucking nuts. So, I haven't really ever dove into that, especially with you. I think it could be interesting. Yeah, I think that's about the only thing that can make this interesting. Demons. I'm open to it. <laughs> yeah, Wyoming's known for a lot of crazy paranormal. Honestly, the intense energy that happens when me and you were together, I feel like it would open up a portal to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did that. <laughs> I will say, and it pains me to say it, okay, um, but it's kind of nice when Jeffrey's around because um, even though he's, uh, how do I put this nicely, a bad person, um, he is actually also a witty person, like for real. Not always, it's, it's hit and miss. Um, but it's a nice change of pace from like whatever, whatever it is that Shane does on his own. Oh my God. So we're coming up on my exit and we're gonna be on the long winding road where I flipped my Rolls Royce with Daniel and almost died. Hashtag never forget, hashtag blessed, hashtag grateful. But we're still here. Yeah, so since the car crash, I haven't seen you since. <laughs> so casual. <laughs> so since you flipped, you almost died, you stupid bitch. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> um, I have seen Doing you since then. Doing great. <laughs> no surgery. I healed my Wolverine. It was crazy. I didn't, I didn't need to be pinned in my back. I can still do the splits, and she's feeling fantastic. You know what's crazy? I had mild scoliosis as a kid, so the doctor told me, "Hey, compared to your old X-rays." No judgment, but. That's
fucking terrifying. <laughs> what a terrifying image. That's gonna keep, can we just do the demons instead? Cause that's gonna keep me up at night. What? I can't believe I haven't shown you the Zero 60 mode. <laughs> <laughs> wait, oh my god, wait, I'm scared. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, Alright, this, this is called the Watch Let's go! Whoa! I'm sorry, I fell asleep with my eyes open again. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! It's like an actual roller coaster. Same vibes, yeah. <laughs> Same effect. Wow. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. One more time? What? See, this is what you can do in the middle of the country because no one's on the roads. Yes. So I have eight neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, guys. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I wish I was a millionaire so I could be this boring for views. <laughs> no, the car's cool. It's just, um, this is what we call in the industry uh, filler, meaning it doesn't need to be there. Meaning, take it out and tell me the point of your fucking story. I'm gonna give Shane a storytelling workshop. I'll be holding it at the mall, and the price for admission is $300,000. <laughs> It's stunning. Also, I know it's like a, they're trying out the zero to 60 thing, um, but it looked like they were going about 28 miles an hour. Also, I love that this was preceded by talk about the time Jeffree Star flipped his car over and almost died. Brings the family together, you know? I just got here and my life has already been threatened like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to be back. You know who's going to be really excited to see you is the dogs. When Diva sees you and Rylan, he's going to be so happy. So wait, how many? Did you get more dogs since I've last seen you? <laughs> yeah, and then when the depression stopped, the Pomeranian stopped. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah, I just got a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Gonna get a baby, you know. Yeah, I'm getting them. Yeah, I'm getting there. Uh-huh. 150 yaks, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Finally leveled down! Uh-huh. We're at eight dogs now. We're done. I can relate. When I go through a depressive episode, um, I gain 25 pounds. <laughs> Like it. <laughs> yeah. Here's my little dirt road. I'm at the very end. I only have like about, I'd say about eight to ten neighbors out here. Wow. So how many acres? That was cool. Yeah. So we're, so in Hidden Hills with that big mansion, I was on two acres. Out here, I'm on 600 acres. What? Yeah. Shane's actually asking because he has no concept of what 600 acres actually is. Wow. What? Yeah. What does that even mean? How big is that? See? 600 acres. It's a lot of land. It's cool. So 300 of your other houses? Yeah. How much? Do you mind crazy. saying how much it costs for 600 acres? Because 600 acres in LA would be what? Like? 600 acres in LA would be non-existent. They, you cannot buy 600 acres in Los Angeles. Idiot. Oh, oh, I forget it. Out here it's literally only a couple million. It's very... A couple very reasonable million dollars. Anyway, if you have the link um, to a used car with less than 200,000 miles, I love Shane still feigning his poor boy persona. But you pay $2.2 million for your house and you just bought a fuck ton of alpacas. Don't act like you've never seen money before. I've never seen a printed $100 bill before. The, it's over. You, that act is dead. You've made a lot of money. Modesty doesn't really work when your high earning profits are pretty much public knowledge. Hi. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Of course. You would have like a Disneyland entrance. Wow. Thank this you. is so. I did not know what to expect, and this is even just as crazy as when I saw your fucking $20 million mansion. <laughs> 
Except this was um, filmed in August of 2022, if we're looking at Chris's plane ticket correctly from earlier. Um, so that tells me Shane has already jerked watched Jeffrey's video about the Yak Ranch, which means he does know what to expect. And again, the disingenuousness, it's such an act for the cameras, and it's not even a good one. <laughs> you have a literal Isn't this cool? Disney so my entrance. My gate's almost done. I'm gonna have more fencing around it and we're gonna add a few more cameras. But um and just like my McLaren, I thought the gate doors had to open uh you know, the correct way. Oh. Just like literally every other moment of Jeffrey's involvement in this video, we got a front row seat to this masturbatory wealth flaunting. It's it's gross, honestly. And like, good for you. Like, I don't admonish anybody for... I, I mean, Jeffree Star came from nothing. He built a fucking empire, made a ton of money. But like, like people are struggling hard right now, like real hard. Um you know, on account of like inflation and the way the pandemic set a lot of us back for so long. And um, this just feels as excessive as fuck. And I don't mean him having all of this. Like, I don't begrudge Jeffree Star for having these things. But I do begrudge this being so, again, masturbatory. So um, flaunting these riches in the faces of the viewers who will never see a fraction of the wealth or privilege that either of these men do. And if Shane were really a poor person, like he enjoys pretending he is, he would know that. Oh. You got what I need. This is so crazy. Okay. Uh, Look at this way. <laughs> Good thing you got rid of them Birkins, huh? Wow. Whoa. Look at them bugs on the front. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they caption everything that you can hear absolutely perfectly, but never the absolute garbled garbage that just came out of Jeffrey's mouth. What? <laughs> well, we know it was hilarious because Shane full body laughed himself into another dimension. <laughs> Yeah, today we're gonna be filming some TikToks. The new me likes to stack content, so you'll see me film like nine to ten videos today. I post once a day, I don't look at the comments. If you call me ugly, I don't know anymore. I used to care, really. I was obsessed and looked at every comment. Oh my god, what was wrong with me? So embarrassing. So now I just post and live my life and hang out with my animals and enjoy this fucking nature I work my ass off for. So the eyebrows. I was trying to figure it out. What the hell was so weird about Jeffrey's face? He has eyebrows now. Sorry. So you make TikToks? <laughs> I Okay, so yeah, like TikTok are you a tick I'm a, I'm a daddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> you film. Oh, okay. I did one dance video with my eyes because it was silly, but right. I'm not doing like So are you gonna like show me what a Jeffrey TikTok is? Yeah, like, do okay. like I don't know anything about it. So it's easy, you just find one like Okay, well, there's, there's one that's training that's like about the past, so Shane's here, it's a no-brainer. I'm gonna be in no makeup, pull out the conspiracy palette, knock on it, uh -huh. I'll be in a full conspiracy look, and Shane will be right next to me like, uh-huh, hi, let's go inside. I just got chills. Maybe it's because you sweat through your shirt like four hours ago. <laughs> but I also cringed at the same time. Uh, I love TikTok now. Wait, what's this? A cooler full of, well, no, it's empty now, full of yak ground. Not ground beef, because beef's a beef cattle. It's ground yak. Oh Are my god! Oh my gosh! What? Exactly. <laughs> yak puns are my thing. I don't think so. <laughs> oh! <laughs> God, they're so cute. <laughs> Our view is absolutely stunning. We're at the base of Castle Mountain. This is my daily routine now. Um, what do you need that for? I know we, we don't know each other, but I've never drank before. But all my friends do, so I don't know how to make that. But I do have that in beer, I know that. Oh my God. <laughs> have you been able to find a uh, positive outlook from everything? Yes. Oh, absolutely. So much positivity. I'm so proud of everything we've ever done. I was crying watching our old videos literally the other night. Like, it was nuts. So cool. I don't think I've ever, well, besides you, I don't think I've been through so much with 
uh, a person. Yes. Besides, exactly. like my mom. Biggest launch in makeup history because it was like a it was like a movie. It was like Avengers. And we had the fucking stone. Yeah. And it was pretty spectacular how you guys fumbled the bag so quickly. Where did that movie end? I don't know. We'll watch it later. <laughs> um, look at the view. This is crazy. Come on, Donnie. Wow, this feels like rehab. I'm obviously still running Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love makeup, but I'm a business, so I'm not just a YouTuber or a content creator. I've always been that, like a creator, but... And makeup has changed. Are people buying it like 2019? Fuck no. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Those are those are grasshoppers that are white. Look at all the axe walking over here. They're making their rounds. We really couldn't edit out the grasshopper noises. 19 and a half million subscribers and over a decade on the platform, and we couldn't. We couldn't bother to edit out the grasshopper noises, or was that for ambiance? Cause it's making me itchy. So how many palettes have you done since conspiracy? Blood, lust, oh! banana fetish, beauty killer two, Ooh! remated palette, orgy, blood money palette, blood sugar mini, king religion palette. Finally, Jeffrey Star skin. I think I have footage of. Um, we'll talk about it later, but yeah. we had a palette we were gonna do after conspiracy. Oh my god. <laughs> And I brought it. And uh <laughs> launches this November. <laughs> Can we just pretend that it's not not going to launch this month? Like if Shane was a good storyteller, <laughs> he would have told the story differently. So it would actually build up a surprise element of the palette being released. Cause let's be honest, if the palette isn't gonna be released, that will be the big reveal. I had 32 babies since April. Oh my god. My soul. What do you do with the yaks that you don't eat? They're all just pets and they're for breedings for other families and farms if they want to start a herd, if they want some babies. So have you like given birth? <laughs> <laughs> like when they're giving birth, do you like do help <laughs> like so yaks are really hardy you don't really need to help them ever they let me be right next to them during the birth so i've had a blood splash on me and, and i got to rub on the baby like because they'll stand 10 minutes after so then like you, but you don't put your hand in yaks or anything i was just thinking about you it. can to preg check them do you do that yeah you can you put on the clear glove and you go up to here well we know what shane's plans are for the rest of the day does it hurt them no we can put a gopro on the end <laughs> 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 Pat's a TikTok. Yeah, I hope he gets <laughs> oh, oh, don't you dare take away my victory. Don't do it, hurry. Where'd it go? Right there. On the sink. Where? On the sink. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Got him. Is there anything that doesn't shock Shane Dawson? Besides um, casual racism. I'm just having a hard time visualizing what you do. Everything I do from starting the brand to the skincare to I mean, anything I do, I just like, I just go really hard. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> like this. You have so much going on. There are so many people, palettes coming out, things launching. Are you still doing all of that just from here? Yeah. But literally, it's like the bubble's about to burst. Like, I gotta be in hair and makeup in an hour or two. I gotta film TikToks and reels. I gotta do makeup transformations. I gotta pre film content for Star Wedding. The world isn't like that anymore. People don't go to YouTube to see reveals, they just go to TikTok. It's literally, it's like YouTube for beauty is being my space. You've been on social media for so long, dinosaurs. Why is this TikTok thing bothering us? Like, why is it? I don't know. I'm not in love with it. I actually did enjoy long form content education versus just. <laughs> on one hand, um, I get what Jeffrey's saying, uh, but on the other hand, I just kind of want to take a nap. Here, you know, that the instant gratification that sums up our culture. And I think for the first time, in, I've been on social media now for 20 years, and I just think like, I'm kind of burnt out on it. Oh my God, what's gonna happen to me next? Doesn't exist anymore, finally. I don't have the news app on my phone, so I never know what's going on. <laughs> me neither, but that's because like, what else could happen to me? Now? I know. All right, and what? What's my motto here? So? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, Shane. You don't want to pop a hole in your pants. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it. So? so? I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't find out what to tell you. I just actually don't care anymore. Yeah, than at ever. a certain point, it's just it's unrealistic to just keep mm -hmm. living in such a toxic state of yeah. mind. I love this. This is my favorite thing. It's unrealistic to live in that toxic state of mind. It's unrealistic to do shitty, despicable things and not atone for them in some fashion. Like the people holding Shane Dawson accountable. I know Jeffrey was talking about himself, but the people holding Shane Dawson accountable and really holding him accountable, not the people who are like, run this off the platform, but the people who are holding him accountable would have liked to have seen a real apology, real growth, and real change over the course of the past few years. And that's it. Just because the reception of Shane and Ryland and Jeffrey and anybody who associates with them, unfortunately for people like Morgan who are you know, have no choice but to be tangentially involved. It's the the feedback for these people is rarely positive because all they do is spend this time oversimplifying what happened and making excuses for Shane, for Jeffrey, and then turning it on the people who just simply wanted a creator to do better. Yuck. Okay, so what's down here? <laughs> See? Yeah. Oh, I would a hundred thousand percent fall off those stairs and Stone cold sober in the middle of the day. Alright, y'all. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, Shut up. Oh, this is a lot of hip balls. Do you actually play on me? <laughs> Fine, whatever. It's cool. I like it. I'm jealous. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I like being more grounded, you know? I don't need all the things. So it was literal arcade. So it was my little basement. So I just got another pinball machine from Australia. We haven't unboxed it yet. Oh. Oh. This is well, it's everything. Isn't it cool? The wallpaper may be offensive for YouTube. Oh, the. <laughs> <laughs> Said Captain Piss Bottles. It says on there just to keep scrolling. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay. Wait, why aren't you excited? Because I had an exhausting it? fucking <laughs> game. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was so tired. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what do you mean? I was famished after that fucking one. <laughs> Whoa. Do you and Rylan like tequila? Yeah. Maybe I'll have to try it later. Yeah, what is it gonna take for you to get drunk? Never. Never. Never, my pretty. <laughs> I think the most important thing to do when someone tells you that they're um, sober or a non drinker or just that they don't want an alcoholic beverage is to press them as to why and when it will happen instead of just like respecting the fact that they don't drink. It's <laughs> my little homage to the babies. I have so many questions. <laughs> okay, so what's your plan now? What's going on? Not in life, but in this. We'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah, not in life. It really would be a shame to get to the point of this video. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I haven't seen this in a in few years now. Okay. Alright, let's see it for real. Oh my god, this is weird. This is like a reveal. I've been waiting two years for this. Was that throw to the future supposed to be suspenseful? Am I supposed to be anticipating this palette reveal? Because I gotta be honest, um, I barely care. Shane here looks like he's the stand-in for the actor who's actually playing the cowboy in a children's movie that probably stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson. My new social media girl, Jacqueline's coming. She's doing the TikTok stuff with me. So if you're gonna do transitions, you gotta do it right. You can't do basic stuff, like none of this thing, where you like cover the camera, you know? Like you can't like go and flop. Wow, she sure runs a tight ship. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get in the hair and makeup, do a few wig changes, and we'll go to dinner later. Have you and Ryan ever had Jack yet? <laughs> So we'll all have Star Yak burgers, and it's just so cool that we'll have a ranch for not even two years and we're on a menu. It's like, you know, it's so cool. It is cool, because um, it's almost like money can get you whatever you want whenever you want, you know? <laughs> for real, it's cool though. And then, when did you want to talk about... Quitting YouTube? Oh! 
<laughs> You're going there that quick? On one hand, um, I'm glad Jeffrey just said that out loud. Um, because literally nothing else has happened in this video. But on the other hand, I still would rather be taking a nap. <laughs> Is that real? Uh, it might be. Might be. Mm -hmm. Might be time to hang up my button. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Shane fucking shaking his head in fear is the most dramatic thing that has happened in this entire series. <laughs> and not in a good way. Two more videos and then I'm done. She's hanging it up, you hear? Okay, yeah, we'll have a hot meal and we'll dive in. <laughs> <laughs> It can't really be that shocking to you guys, right? Yeah, it's actually um, not shocking at all to me because aside from that yak video, um, I wasn't aware that you were still uploading at all. <laughs> so no, I'm not shocked. Like, it's really shocking to me. Are you kidding me? I think you're, you're kidding I'm me. I'm not. No. I will go to the bank and take out a loan for $1,000 and give it to Shane Dawson if he shuts the f up right now. No one watches it anymore. No one That's cares. That's not true. It's very true. I mean, it's hard out there for everyone on there's YouTube no, right there's now. There's literally no point for me to do it anymore. Right. No one watches. No one cares. If it brings you more sadness than it does joy, not even sadness of like there's no joy, joy of creating like... videos for who? For what? No one's clicking them anymore. Well, yeah. I mean, and listen, I'm not a huge makeup person. How far can you really push makeup anymore? The beauty community has become so incredibly saturated over the past like five to seven years. Like there's no real room for innovation anymore. There's no innovation to be had anymore. All of these eyeshadow palettes look the same or at least they look like another eyeshadow palette that someone else had put out. Everyone has a friggin' skincare line. Jaclyn Hill's got hair and shards of metal. It's hard to innovate is my point. How do you keep a beauty channel fresh when everything's been done. And so no one cares about YouTube. Not one single person goes to watch it for enjoyment or fun anymore. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right, hold on. Just because people aren't watching your channel uh, doesn't necessarily mean that no one is watching YouTube anymore. Granted, I barely watch YouTube, but I have kids and I watch a handful of creators only and call it a day and I've always sort of been that way. I don't like to just sit and like watch whatever. But I also love the delicious irony of having this conversation on camera in a video slated for YouTube. I know you Right. Like the old days, even Maddie, everyone would go home and go on the couch and blah blah blah. The pandemic created Paramount, Showtime, Disney Plus, Netflix had a million, so much budget to do 20 million movies. YouTube fizzled out. No one cares. We went to Walmart and got 30 million views. People wish. <laughs> no, it's like we already did it all. I did every makeup review, every tutorial, every video, every surgery, every, every we did fucking makeup in hot air balloons and fucking on a raft in Montana in Yellowstone. I dipped a beauty blender in fucking Yellowstone water. Well, at least you're not bitter. Who could top any of that? I already did it all. So it's time to hang up my fucking hat and focus so on other things. We should be smiling and laughing. YouTube sucks. <laughs> I love how this went from like, yeah, it just evolved past YouTube and, and, um, you know, it's just not there for me anymore to like, <laughs> YouTube fucking sucks. I don't wholeheartedly disagree, but like also everything Jeffrey just said leads me to believe that he's just bought her, that his channel is plummeting after being canceled and creating relatively uninteresting products and a lack of varied content on his channel. People just are not interested en masse anymore and that's okay. I, I guess like because it's a problem for him, he's acting like it's a problem for everyone. You're being phased out, son. No, hey. Hey. I do. You suck. I don't know. Literally no one's clicking anymore. You were wasting our fucking time. And so we are. You Summertime. And and that's where the video ends. So to recap, Shane showed us footage from the last video. Shane got on a plane, got in Jeffrey's $100,000 electric Hummer, walked around his house, saw the dogs, saw the yak, saw the guns, saw the pinball machines, saw the nudie wallpaper, and Jeffrey said he's quitting YouTube. YouTube doesn't suck. This video sucks. Gee, I can't wait for next week's episode where we'll wait patiently 
outside the bathroom to hear whether or not Jeffree Star took a piss and if while waiting Rylan could contain his excitement while Shane sat in the corner and said oh my god this is crazy over and over again until Chris's head exploded from hyperventilation from laughing so hard. Look I'm not exactly sure why I'm subjecting myself to these um, but leave me a comment below and let me know if you made it to the end and what you thought about this revolutionary content. <sighs> in the meantime make sure you like the video, dislike the video, subscribe to the channel, unsubscribe from the channel, do whatever the hell you gotta do. But my social media, my Patreon links to join my channel membership. Of course, my merch, all of that is linked down below. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for the outtakes. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! garden when you're here you almost die in a car crash i don't want to hear about it for the rest of the day the disingenuity the disin this it's not genuine <laughs> ah. like and and i mean holding him accountable i don't mean the people who are like thank you thank you for the truck thank you <laughs> somebody um somebody needs to intervene <laughs> And that's really saying something. It's, it's so natural. Can we call this video the relatability of Jeffree Star yet? Leave a comment down below telling me I don't know what I'm doing. Get off my back! I don't know what I just coughed up, but it did not taste good. Thank you. Thank you so much.